Hi everybody, welcome to Mother's Motion Postnatal Workout. We're gonna have a great workout to maintain. Um, those of you who have just joined, you'll need some weights. Um, and you can join if you're six weeks postnatal, and you have to be at least six weeks post. And otherwise, up until whenever, post, post, post. And I will be giving two different versions of exercises. I'll give a lighter one for the post six weeks to 12 weeks. And then of course I'll show you also a higher activity level to how to do if you want to get some more sweat and you're a little bit further. And we will be doing lots of abs on the end and I'll also give you these two versions. And um, just make sure also that you're using your abs in the right way because we don't want to be that the abs are bulging, are going to the outside. Um, because if you didn't have a lot of damage in your pregnancy or delivery, then um, you can also damage your abs by doing too fast, too heavy uh, abdominal exercises. If you're having any questions of where you are and what you should or should not do, um, you can ask me anything, Monday night, 9 p.m. Uh, it's a free Google, I mean a Zoom account. Uh, just go to my website and you'll see the link to log in or send me an email. Um, and otherwise we can always do a one-on-one -on -one video consult. And I can really give you some advice over which apps to do not to do. Okay, so let me put on some other music and we will get started.
Okay, so now we're gonna go to one side. This right foot goes a little bit turned. Put my hands on my upper leg. Resting my whole body weight on my upper leg. And calf raises. On the toe. Get some water and we're gonna 
like it started with our cardio part. Okay.
Tiro. Tiro. We're going to start some growth. So, this is low. If you've just delivered, keep everything contained. Get better. 
there, I think. And then coming here. So we really gotta get up and move and work the upper back. That's the only way to keep a healthy back. Okay, knees are bent, arms here, out, and in. These are flies. Flies. So I'll go sideways. So you can see, I don't want this moving. Keep going. I don't want you to lose your ribs. Keep that in. Again, that core is important. Thank you. 
four, three, two. All right, knee up.
stretch your neck. So I notice my music CD has just ran out. So this was our first evening of our own self-made aerobic music. So we can leave it on um, the YouTube channels and everything. Okay. So now come onto your toes. And just rock back and forth. And then slowly stretch up. Okay. And again, we're going to stretch out our calf muscles. So put one foot to the front, one foot to the back. And make sure your toes are in line, facing forward. Pelvis is straight, arms relaxed, arms come up, and lean forward. And let the arms relax. And switch. Toes to the front. Hips are straight. Feet are shoulder width. Breathe in. Contract your core. Right now, when you're contracting your core, you should feel the, the one with the leg that's most stretched out. So that is the way you should feel more if I just pull in my core. And relax. Okay, so relax your buttocks. Relax your pelvic floor. Breathe in. And stretch all the way up. Okay, I want to thank you for joining in tonight. I hope you liked it. And for those of you who are, uh, who are unsure about your stomach muscles because you just delivered, six weeks ago or longer, you can always uh, join me on Monday evening at 9, and you can ask Stephanie anything, and um, otherwise we can make a one-on-one -on -one consult, um, video consult, and we can, I can look at them with you through the camera and at least give you some good options or to tell you what you should or should not do. Okay, so thank you again, and Tomorrow morning is a power start, don't forget, 8 o'clock sharp, and Saturday we have also another workout for you at 11.30 for post moms. Alright, thank you, have a nice evening, bye bye.